ORR is the enforcing authority for health and safety on the British Railways. We are literally the HSE of the railways. We do inspection work where we would assess the, the standards. We would also do investigations whereby there could be investigations of incidents or accidents. It could be industry staff that are injured or maybe members of the public. It could be a derailment of a train or, or something of that nature. We also do liaison meetings and general meetings with duty holders such as Network Rail and the train operating companies where we would discuss various aspects of health and safety with them. I am a warranted officer which grants certain powers to me which includes right of entry, access to be able to take into possession information, to require people to answer questions and ultimately to be able to stop work through the issue of enforcement notices. When I first started working for HMRI back in 2003, I worked on a team where there were no female inspectors at all. But since then, that's changed significantly. There are much more female inspectors now, different ethnicities. And we're working hard to try and encourage more people of different backgrounds into our RR. The Rail Accident Investigation Branch investigates railway accidents and near misses, and then they make recommendations. And it's the responsibility of ORR to decide who should act upon those recommendations and how they should be acted upon as well. Some of the recent improvements to make Britain's Railways safe are improvements in rolling stock. So we've got a lot more newer trains out on the network and that has been a significant improvement in on-train passenger safety. There's been huge improvements in level crossing safety, such as putting in barriers or putting in warning lights. Ourselves as ORR works quite closely with Network Rail to remove a lot of the staff that would normally have been working around the infrastructure to working at times when trains are not running. The work that we do gives people confidence to be able to use the railway. The fact that we are liaising regularly with the duty holders to understand what they're doing and how they're working. In terms of enforcing and ensuring that the appropriate laws are obeyed, I think it's fair to say that we add a lot of value 